And right now, the road to Richmond is coming to a close as Glenn Youngkin prepares to become the next governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Right now, we have live team coverage from Capitol Square. Kurt Williams, Aaron Miller covering this major event for us there in Richmond. And we're going to start with Kurt. Kurt, we've got so much going into this event. Oh, yeah. I mean, a tremendous amount of activity going on here, Anthony. We are coming to you live from downtown Richmond. And, of course, a lot of activity going under, underway. But most of it is going to be behind me, the Capitol building. I want to direct your attention to the front steps. And we are 24 hours away from Virginia's 74th inauguration. A lot of preparations underway today including security preps. And we're going to be joining my colleague Aaron Miller in just a moment for not just the security preps, but, but other activities underway to make sure everything is pulled off without a hitch. Let's take a quick glance at the top three office holders who are going to be in the spotlight for this inauguration. We start with Glenn Youngkin, a, a, a newcomer, a businessman, never held office, born here in Richmond, but grew up in Hampton Roads, a graduate of Norfolk Academy. His lieutenant governor, Winsome Sears, a former House delegate from the 90th District in Norfolk, serving one term, making history being the first woman to become lieutenant governor, the first woman of color to, to become lieutenant governor, and the first woman of color to win a statewide office. And then more history being made with the Jason Meares attorney general elect, former beach prosecutor, first Cuban American elected to the General Assembly back in 2015, and now the first Latino to win statewide office as he becomes the next attorney general. Now, as we've mentioned, a lot has to go into the planning to make sure that everything goes underway very smoothly, including security and other preparations. And for more on that, we now want to go to my colleague, Aaron Miller. Aaron? Kurt, that's right. There is quite a bit that goes into putting on an event like this. As you can imagine, we have seen security and police officers all over the place here all day long. In fact, that's actually why we are standing where we are right now at the Commonwealth Public Safety Memorial, because we are not allowed on the grounds yet for perspective. If you are not familiar with Richmond and this area, we are on the back side of the Capitol right by Bank Street. We will not have access until tomorrow morning to get behind those fences, to get on those grounds. But we did have some access to a really cool group of ladies that we spent the morning with that are from Suffolk and they're, that are actually putting together the floral arrangements for this inauguration. These ladies are from the Nansman River Garden Club and every flower that you see here is from Suffolk or handpicked from one of our surrounding areas in Hampton Roads. This is their third go around of putting together arrangements for an inauguration. So they're pros at this point. And what's also special to point out is that these ladies are part of a club. The folks here in Richmond really wanted to get away from hiring a professional florist and actually involve the Virginia citizens in this inaugural process. I talked to Sandy Hart, who is one of the members, um, if there is a spe specific theme that they're working with this year. They don't give us a, a theme, but they do like color and they don't want just greens and white flowers. They want color because they think it's like, you know, a new fresh beginning, spring's coming, COVID's going away, we hope. <laughs> I think we can all agree that we hope that COVID is going away soon. And I mean, really, these flowers are so beautiful, these arrangements. They have been here since Wednesday, and they say that there will be around 16 arrangements all around the grounds from Bank Street to the Rotunda. We are going to have a little bit of Suffolk love here at the Capitol for such a big day in Richmond. So a lot going on there, but that is not the only event and the only preparation that is taking place. Kurt, there are a lot of other events that are happening all across the city. So what else are you keeping your eye on? on. Yeah, that's right, Aaron. I mean, a lot of inaugural activities underway. I mean, they already had one this morning. The future first lady held a spirit of the sisterhood tea, but we've also got a quick look at uh, some of the other activities that are underway today and tomorrow. Later on tonight, you have a black tie dinner, the spirit of imagination black tie dinner. That is going to be at the Science Museum of Virginia. Tickets or just $10,000. And then tomorrow morning, a Spirit of Faith prayer breakfast. That is going to be at the Jefferson Hotel. And then, of course, all eyes will be on the front steps of the Capitol building tomorrow, 12.05, the inauguration. That will be followed by a parade. And, Anthony, a lot of local flavor in that 
parade that follows the inauguration. You've got the Hampton University Marching Band. You've got the Norfolk Battalion of the Virginia National Guard. Uh, they are going to be taking part in a 19-gun salute to the incoming uh, governor. You also have the uh, Norfolk Academy basketball team that's taking part in the parade. And, of course, uh, that is uh, the incoming governor's uh, alma mater, who was also, from what I understand, quite the player back in his day on the basketball team. So a lot going on here. Anthony, I've got to run and go work and see if I can do an expense report, if the company is going to be okay with that $10,000 ticket for that black tie dinner tonight. You know what? I mean, we want to do complete team coverage, so we'll see if they will be. I have the tux. It's just a matter of getting that ticket. Uh, later today on News 3, Anthony, we will be hearing one-on-one -on -one from all of the three top state office holders. Our one-on-one -on -one interviews, their vision, uh, what they're looking forward to, what this day and tomorrow means to them. Live in Richmond. Kurt Williams, 